In this example, we're going to use graphs and algebra to approximate the smallest magnitude n that satisfies the formal definition of the limit, where the limit we're looking at is the limit as x goes to infinity of the function of 4 minus x squared is equal to negative infinity. The m value, so they're really, um, I mean, I guess it's large in magnitude here. It happens to be negative since we're approaching negative infinity for the limit. Um, but large in magnitude y value is uh, negative 10,000. And so the function we're looking at here is a parabola. The parabola is opening downward because of the negative x squared. And it shifted up 4 um, for the plus 4 part. And so we're looking at a parabola. Let's see, it looks something like this. So we do see that um, as x is going out to infinity, so as we're looking out to the right side of this graph, the function is going down to negative infinity. So this does make sense. And so what we're doing here um, pictorially is uh, we're looking at m being negative 10,000, so a very big negative number if you want to think about it that way. Um, so we're looking at negative 10,000. Okay, And we want to see uh, what x value would correspond to that y value really. Uh, so again we're going out, we're going to hit the graph and then trace back to figure out what that x value is. Now, technically speaking, if we go out to the left-hand side, hit the graph and go up, we're going to get some negative x value also. But in context, it's really the only, um, in some sense, big positive x value that we're going to be um, considering because we're not caring where x is approaching negative infinity. We're caring where x is approaching positive infinity. That c value of positive infinity is telling me to look at the right-hand side only and ignore the left-hand side. So we've got that value m equals ne negative 10,000. It's a y value. And so we take that uh, y value, which would be an output value, and figure out what input goes with it. So we set that equal to the function. And that function is 4 minus x squared. And we need to figure out what x is. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, just to keep into the positives here, I'm going to uh, bring the x squared over to the uh, left-hand side. So I've got x squared minus the 10,000 is equal to 4. And then I'm going to add 10,000 to both sides so that I have x squared is equal to 10,000 4. To finish this off, we uh, undo the square by taking the square root. And when we take the square root of both sides, um, solving something for algebra, technically speaking, we have to have a, t a plus and a minus because we've got two possibilities there. And that's where we've got this other uh, solution. See, remember, we would have also come up with some solution here that would have tracked to some here, but we don't care about um, this one. This would be the negative root here that we don't care about. And so in context, it's this positive root that we're looking for. And so when we use our uh, calculator to approximate this using the, the positive root, what we end up getting there would be um, approximately 100.019998, keeping several um, places. And so that is the value of n that we're looking at here. And so we've got n is equal to 100.019998. Certainly the negative one of that would have been smaller. And don't let, again, don't let the smallest magnitude um, bother you. By smallest magnitude, we're not talking like the negative one would have been a better choice. We're saying at this point and anywhere further than that, so anything bigger than that, we will be far enough into the negative infinity direction for our limit. And so that is how we get our final answer.